He's uh, this is will be his first time at the adult level. He's competed in the World Junior Wushu Championships uh, last time, last year, and placed a gold in staff and long fist. So two stars as a junior gold winner, and now up on the world stage. He'd li I'd like to say an up-and-comer at Wushu, but of course it's a lifetime of, <laughs> of, of um, practicing it. So there really is about one person just getting that style. Oh, Ooh, falls back. Always important just to keep moving with your routine. Very nice splits. <laughs> and just like long fist where you can almost hear the power, you can just hear the flailing of that doubt. Great control of the sword there. Well, it's a real shame about that initial opening jump because the rest of his routine has been pretty solid. It just takes one mistake at this level to drop you down. Again, we earlier said he was in fifth, this could drop him below that. Well, he's definitely going to be thinking about that one jump. The rest of it was great. Hibiki Beto from Japan. And this is bound to be that. There you go, that little stumble back. So each step is a dedu deduction each time. So he lost the deduction. He got a deduction for the stance work and then two steps back. That would cost him yeah. 0.3 right there. And point three can make all the difference, especially when a 9.30 has already been set. And that's in terms of the A scoring. He actually lost 0.45 from the C judges. So he awaits. 9.18, even with that missed jump. So imagine what that could have been. And he just not stumbled back. 9.18 for Japan.